Hello again, welcome to another video. I want to share with you an update of my Hoya Matilde Splash. It is my second year growing this wonderful Hoya and I am so pleased with the blooms this year. Hoyas typically flower in the warmer months when they're actively growing, when they're mature enough, usually about two to five years old, but it's different with each variety. If the cutting was also from a mature plant, it is likely to flower sooner. And they also flower if the growing conditions are right. I've given my Hoyas pretty much the same care. They were under a grow light in winter and in the warmer months, I use liquid fertilizer mixing in the water. But my Hoya Matilde is the only Hoya in my collection that flowered. Before I left for my holiday last October, it began to set multiple clusters. I counted seven forming, but I wasn't sure if all of the buds will bloom. And it did not disappoint. All of the buds developed into blooms. What you'll first see are the peduncles forming. These are the short, slightly curved stem with rounded tips. Then the individual stems uh, where each tiny flower attached uh, start to grow longer. They're called pedicels. And the buds on the tips start to grow bigger as well. Each of these clusters are called umbels. They look like upside down umbrellas. The peduncle is like the stick or the shaft of the umbrella. The pedicels are like the ribs and the flowers are the canopies of the umbrella. What I have here are seven umbels or clusters. Each umbel had about 10 to 15 small flowers. I was gone for a month and when I came back, the blooms were still beautiful and some just opened up. I had another week to enjoy the flowers and then came the end of the flowering stage. The flowers fall off on their own, leaving bare spurs, the area where the pedicels were attached. This was the first spur and it is longer than last year's. The important thing to remember is not to cut the peduncles at any time because this is where future blooms grow. Now I can see other peduncles forming here and here but I'm not sure whether flowers will grow on these. Maybe next year. I've tried some orchid spray on the foliage and see if that will encourage a second round of blooms. I've read some people had great success with it. If not, it's okay. It gave me plenty of blooms this year. I'm happy. This Hoya is just a treat. It is a prolific grower and easy to care as well. It has succulent leaves, so I'm careful not to overwater the plant. Last year, I tied the long vines on a trellis with jute ties. And this year, I have all of these new vines to tie up. If your cutting was from a mature plant, you may be surprised with some flowers sooner than you expected. And that is all for today. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Leave a comment, press the bell icon, and you'll see more plant and flower related content from this channel. And I'll see you in my next video.